Well, after mercilessly teasing us for ages, the MSI Z690 godlike motherboard, the last motherboard you'd ever need, is finally out. Well, the last motherboard you ever need until the next generation of CPUs comes out. But this is not an ordinary motherboard, no, no, no. This is intended to be the best motherboard, and this motherboard is only intended for the very rich and those who have no financial savvy. Because if you want to buy this motherboard, it's going to cost you $2,000. That's more than the price of a complete system for most people. But at least with it, you're getting pretty much everything you could ever need. Starting off with PCIe expansion, where you have three 16x slots. Two of them are PCIe Gen 5 rated. That is a lot of potential PC bandwidth, but it gets even more insane when you look at the M.2 situation, because you have a total of six M.2 slots at your disposal, all of them hidden under this massive shroud to keep them cool. And it gets even more insane than that when you look at some of the other I.O. Starting off the rear I.O. here, this is the stuff of dreams. This thing has 8 USB Type-A ports, with literally none of them being USB 2.0, and to that 2 USB Type-C connectors, both of them being Thunderbolt 4. Add to that 2 mini DisplayPort connectors, Wi-Fi 6E, 2 Ethernet RG45 ports, 1 10 gigabit and 1 2.5 gigabit. Most people won't even need to, but whatever, it's there, why not? It's the king of all motherboards. And on the internal I.O. side, you even have such insane stuff like 2 front USB Type-C headers. And above those Type-C connectors, it even has this massive screen, which can use display pretty much everything. And MSI really thought of everything here, because it doesn't have to just be on the inside of your PC. You can just take the screen out and connect it via a USB cable and have it on the outside of your computer. That is actually pretty neat, and hopefully something we'll see in more reasonably priced more boards in the future, because it's actually a pretty cool gimmick. And as you can expect, when it comes to feeding the CPU power, well, there's no compromises here as well. 20 plus 2 phases running at 105 amps. That is pretty overkill for everything apart from a 12900K. But I did hear there is a special feature that makes the motherboard catch on fire if you install anything under a 12900K in this motherboard. Apparently it's a feature that was already experimented with on ROG motherboards a while back. Jokes aside, you won't be installing anything other than the 12900K or the upcoming 12900K S in this motherboard. Because if you have enough money to buy this insane thing, you have enough money to treat yourself to one of those insane CPUs. For most of us, however, it is is very, 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 very overkill, but it is still a very fun product that shows exactly how far PC hardware has gotten and what kind of insane stuff you could buy if money wasn't an issue. And more than anything, even though I know most people aren't going to buy it, I love it as a proof of concept. What is currently possible with current technology and a glimpse at what kind of features we could be seeing in mobile boards, in more reasonably priced mobile boards, going forward. But let me know what you think of this and if you are one of those mad lads who can be buying this motherboard, board, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'm actually curious to see if there's going to be anyone in this audience crazy enough to buy this motherboard. board. And if you are rich and crazy enough to buy this motherboard, board, then you also probably have enough money to check out our merch store, which is going to be down in the video description below. That way you get some awesome merch and you also help support the channel. And if you buy anything using those links, then you won't pay anything extra while we get to the merch Money, which gets reinvested straight back into the channel, so it's a win-win for everyone. Other ways of supporting the channel include supporting us on Patreon, because even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. And I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, Common Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herberman. Thank you guys so, so much, which truly goes a long way. Down there, you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others at this or whatever else, really. Plus, down there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you.